Hi everyone, my name is Maria and welcome back to my channel. This channel will give you a lot of ideas on how to become a document controller, especially for those who are searching of a job in the same field and who are only a beginner on this field of... Today's video, I'm going to show you uh, on my own experience on how I work on our system, how I do the structure of our documents so that you will have an idea of this work and how you will do this, uh, how you will save the submission, the commented one, the revisions, how you, how you will keep the latest revisions. So this video will help you to have an idea on how you will do the structure of your documents in the project that you assigned for so i hope uh, i help you a lot wow in advance as you watch on my video every day uh, we have a lot of incoming and outgoing submittals and every day uh, whatever we receive uh, we, and whatever we scan we need to save it in the system okay system means that uh, in your team you have one system that you use that every member of the team has an access uh, for that uh, any submittals or anything that you save in the system okay so uh, all of the subcopies, the submission copy, the commented one, you are putting in one system. And usually, um, this server, mostly, the one who are using and saving and uh, putting the entry of the data are the document controller and the secretary because we are always the one who are working on this uh, uh, server. And each of the member of the team they have the access to see uh, to check whatever uh, things submittals or anything any documents that they need uh, they can see it on that server hi guys uh, today's video I'm going to show you on how to do the structure of documents in any project uh, we have one source of information that the member of the team they can see they have access they can check they can review of whatever submittals or any documents that we put in that location and sometimes we call it our server so in this video i will show you the structure of the submittals so that you will have an idea on how uh, you can make it on your own if there is no samples or templates are given to you or pattern given to you by your company the moment that you sit on your chair let's start with shop drawing submittal structure so as you can see on the screen uh, we have one folder that we need uh, to label or to rename in the server and we call it as shop drawing as we all know that shop drawings, uh, we have a lot of um, disciplines like civil, architectural, uh, electrical, mechanical, we have a uh, landscape, we have infrastructure, or sometimes they are, they are put separate for the MEP or plumbing or HVAC. These are all the disciplines that, that we need to put when we click um, the folder of shop drawing. During the submission of shop drawing, uh, any shop drawing, they have locations. Like for example, uh, the submittals, the shop drawing is for building A, building B, building C, or if there's any hotel or villa or uh, any location, uh, we need to put uh, the location so it will be easy for us uh, when the engineer asks where is the shop drawing for hotel where are the approved shop drawing for hotel you have a separate location uh, for you to easily give whatever the engineer needs so I repeat, we have the main folder, uh, we call it shop drawing. When we click the shop drawing, we have the location of the drawings. And then after that, we, uh, we again uh, make a new folder and this will go to the folder for all the disciplines. Okay, this is up to you guys. Uh, this is just an example. You can make it in vice versa. When you open the shop drawing folder, you will see the discipline first. 
and then when you click uh, the discipline for example civil you will see the location so it's up to you guys it's up to you on how you make it more comfortable this is uh, your own strategy on how you will make your um, server or your 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 data as easy and as much as possible uh, can easily understand by the team so when we go inside the civil uh, we will now put the corresponding uh, submittal for each location for example the hotel the submission submittal number 001 is for hotel and you, it's better if you can put the a little um, shortcut for the description or the subject of the submittal so it will be more easier no so for example 001 so the first submission is revision zero so you need to put the revision zero zero and then uh, you will put inside the sub copies so of course if in shop drawing or in any uh, shop drawings and as built you need the pdf and the cad file and the submittal form so you have to put it inside the revision zero once it is commented you will also put inside that same revision the commented one okay so for example um this revision zero was revised and then again the contractor resubmit this one this number zero zero one as revision zero one so the next time they submit this one you will put inside folder revision zero one so you have now revision zero and then revision zero one and then inside revision one again you will put the submissions of copies and the commented one and it will repeat if there is revision two revision three revision four so it is easy to understand what is the latest revision for this submittal and for this subject Next is the as-built drawing. Whatever I explain in the shop drawing, it is also same with the as-built drawing structure. So guys, as I mentioned earlier, that it, it depends to you for whatever you want on your structure. For example, uh, when you do the structure of as-built, you want that this will be per discipline. Then when you click the discipline, it will uh, show you the location. So for me, uh, in my shop drawing, I make it per location. Whenever my boss asks me what are the drawings issued uh, for the electrical, CBL, or all of the disciplines in a certain location for example building a building b then it's easy for me to give just one click i have this location hotel these are the shop drawing approval these are the as built for this location so it's easy for me that's why i make it per location but it's also okay if you wanted to make it per discipline so at least you will see um, the location and uh, the disciplines all the drawings when you click when you go inside the, the discipline you will see all the locations so this is um, depends on uh, which makes you more comfortable and more easier to input or to uh, to save the data in the server now we have the material submittal. The only difference from the shop drawing and as built drawing structure is that this uh, material submittal structure don't have the location so it's more easier for us okay so when you go inside the material submittal folder you will see the disciplines and inside the disciplines again we need to put uh, the submittal number and the subject of that um, certain material submittal and inside that for example number one civil number one material submittal for door or for floor or something if this is revision zero inside so you will make a subfolder of revision zero and inside that we, you are going to put the submission copy and once it is commented you will also put the commented one inside the revision zero zero and once it is revised again by the contractor you will make another subfolder which is revision zero one so in that certain submittal number you are keeping the latest revision the submission copy and the commented copy of the engineer so whenever the team or the engineer check uh, what are the response for the previous submission it will be easy for them to track the comments that they have given from the previous submission 
Next is the method statement. So, the structure of method statement is the same as material submittal. So, material submittal and other submittals are have the same structure. So, just always make sure that you are keeping the latest revisions. When you go inside the discipline, you put the reference number and the subject. So, it will be easy for the team to understand and to find out the method of statement uh, for a certain subject. So, we as a document controller, we are helping our team to make them easy to find whatever they need, whatever they commented, whatever they need to make the review of any submittal fastest and easiest. Now we have the document transmittal. So the difference for this document transmittal, since this is for general, so in my previous uh, company and in my current company, we are not uh, giving any discipline for this document transmittal. The reference number for this document transmittal is chronological. So in this case, uh, my structure is on the um, document transmittal. When you open that folder, document transmittal, and inside that is the reference of the transmittal and I will put beside the reference number is the subject of that uh, submittal and of course at the same time uh, as same with the other um, submittal shop drawing as built material submittal and so on and so forth we are keeping also the revisions revisions of a certain transmittal so it will be easy for the team to find out uh, what they are looking for when you, when they go inside the document transmittal and what is the latest revision for that uh, transmittal that they are searching for. So guys, these are the samples of the structure of any submittals that you are receiving, the incoming and the outgoing of the submittal. So I hope this will help you a lot. And as I always said, this is based on my own experience and it might be depends on whatever you have right now. So at least you have this idea on how you will do and how you will keep the latest revision in your system. Today, I will show you uh, all of my uh, files that need to be filed in the proper places that, that they have to. So, we, we will segregate a lot because I don't have any assistant right now and um, uh, so I am alone doing everything uh, in my work. So, today... Uh, join me on how I do my filing. Filing is the most things that I hate because, you know, you have a lot of uh, types of submittals and you have to segregate it one by one. You put it in the file box. So, it really uh, take time and eat all your time and you have to allot, for example, two hours just to finish your filing. And by the way, guys, if you have a lot of um, things to do each day, uh, you need to uh, take a lot of time, take part by part. Like for example, uh, before the day end, uh, you will um, uh, list what I have to do tomorrow. And in the evening, you prepare yourself. Uh, tomorrow, when I sit in the office, I have to do this filing. I have to do this for two hours. Then two hours, I will do the uploading. Two hours, I will receive uh, all the submissions. Two hours, like that. You have to, uh, you have to have a good time management. So you will be pro productive for that day. So that's it. So today, I'll be. Uh, having uh, my PM web because I have a lot of things to uh, close um, in the PM web. So guys, these are all my uh, files. I already segregated uh, by disciplines, by serial number. All of this, you need a long working table for you to uh, have it uh, segregate it very much. For me, I don't have long tables. Sometimes I use the pantry um, uh, for the segregation then after this I will make um, filing box and after I will put it in the shelves so 
after that guys, after the segregation and all, I need to put it in this firing box. I better use this one. Like, it's very easy and convenient when you put the firing. No need to, you know, to punch and the paper will damage. This one is very easy for me. This is uh, the most comfortable filing box that I've used in my <laughs> entire uh, work as a document controller. So, just to give you some ideas or tips, like for example, you are going, if you are alone, if you are only one DC in your company, uh, just make sure from the start, okay, from the start, uh, when you have something to release, uh, try to arrange it by family by family. Family means like, for example, or RFIA, all materials are metal, all document trans metal. You segregate it, na so at least when you uh, when you scan it, it's also segregate and it will be easy for you to file because before you file a certain documents. Um, you need to scan it first, right? So when you scan it by by uh, family, family, so it will be easy for you also in renaming. So it will benefit from up to the last step of your document. So that's all for today, guys. Um, I hope you learned something from me. And if you do filing, just consider as uh, this is your. Um, cabinet that you have to uh, arrange your clothes something like that like you want to arrange it by color or by sizes something like that or by category for example home clothes or clothes for uh, office or clothes for party something like this or in pants something like that just consider it like that so it will be easy for you to understand if you are a beginner how I will do my filing so first uh, you need uh, to learn the basic thing, you need to know the category of the submittals that you have. So, that's it for today, guys. And I hope you learned something from me. And don't forget to like and share this video if this will help for your friends or friends of your friends. For friends of your friends. Bye-bye. And before this video end, I would like to say thank you so much for my subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you. And I am so blessed and grateful that you learn from my videos. Uh, even if it's not uh, good in editing, in lighting and all. That uh, I touch your lives. I read all your comments. I receive your emails. And... Um, I hope that I help you and anything that you uh, want to ask, I am willing to uh, uh, answer any of your questions as long as it's uh, based on my experience and I already uh, do it um, here as a, as a document controller. And I'm really grateful and I hope you will continue to uh, watch my videos and you will continue to join me on my next journey uh, so blessed and grateful for this year ano man, whatever we have uh, go through in this uh, year uh, we are blessed that we're safe and that's all for today guys i hope that you learned something from my videos and i hope that i answer all your questions and if there are things that uh you want to know about the work of a document control i am 100 um willing to answer as long as i do that uh, field and i do that a certain situation in a work of a document controller thank you so much and i hope you still join me on my next journey